What's going on Huntington Beach? Welcome to The Rec Report. As always, I'm your host Scott Getman. And I'm Molly Imura. This month we're going to be showcasing this beautiful park that we're at today. It's very windy here and there's a lot going on but we're excited to tell you about it. In addition to that we're going to be talking about some of the special events and programs that we have coming up in the spring and summer months. Scott and I hope you continue to tune in every month to see how parks make life better in Huntington Beach. Hey Molly, fun fact, did you know that there are over 750 acres of parkland in Huntington Beach? I actually did know that, and today we're here at 10 and a half of those acres, which together make up Car Park. Located on the corner of Springdale and Heil, Car Park was developed in 1972 and is a great location for activities like walking, hiking, yoga, having picnics. Scott's exactly right, with the playground, the lake, picnic tables with grills, this is the perfect place for a family fun afternoon. And you know, another fun fact, Molly, Carr Park is named after Chris Carr, who is a longtime Huntington Beach resident, as well as a Medal of Honor recipient during World War II. And you know, Molly and I, with Memorial Day coming up at the end of this month, we want to take a moment to thank all of the past and present servicemen and women around the world in the United States military. Thank you. Thank you for your service. In addition to using the park to just throw the softball or football around, there's also another great special event that goes on here every year. The Old Fish and Hole Fishing Derby is scheduled for Friday, May 13th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is a great event where over 100 students with developmental disabilities from all across Huntington Beach come together to have a fun day fishing here at Carr Park. The event is sponsored by the HB Community Services Department, the Kiwanis Club, and the Department of Fish and Wildlife. The fishing itself takes place from 9 to 12, and then thereafter, lunch is generously donated by the Kiwanis Club. During lunch, prizes are handed out for the largest fish caught, the smallest fish caught, as well as the classroom that catches the most fish. This is really a unique, fun event because all of the equipment and everything is provided for the students to just be able to come out and have an awesome day fishing with their peers. The Department of Fish and Wildlife provides rods and reels for all students as well as fun facts about freshwater fishing. And like Scott mentioned, the Kiwanis Club generously donates and serves lunch and gives out the prizes. I can't think of a better way to spend a Friday and kick off the weekend. We'll see you there May 13th, Surf City. As we transition out of the spring and into the summer, Molly has a great idea for a family-friendly Saturday night out on the town. I sure do. The City Gym Summer Movie Series is continuing with a summer throwback theme. This summer, we're going to be reliving movies from our youth, such as Toy Story 3, Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, and Lilo and Stitch. Doors open at 7.15 p.m. and the movie will start at 8. The first movie in our summer movie series is on Saturday, May 21st, and that movie's going to be Toy Story 3. Have you seen that movie? I have. That's a great movie. Oh, I cannot wait. I'll be there for sure. Remember though, this is more than just a Saturday night movie night. There's going to be a myriad of activities there for the family. We have snacks, games, face painting, things like that, so a little bit more than just a movie. So bring your own chair and come hang out with us at the City Gym and Pool that Saturday. We can't wait to see you there. Well, Surf City, that's all Molly and I have for you for the month of May. We thank you for tuning in, and we hope you take some time the rest of the spring to check out this beautiful park, as well as some of the awesome special events that we brought up during this month's episode. Scott's right. With over 750 acres of parkland, there's really no reason we shouldn't be outdoors getting healthy and active this spring. Absolutely. So take some time, throw the football around, do some yoga, check out this beautiful park. In addition to that, Molly and I would like to wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day, and everyone else out there a happy Memorial Day. Until next time, remember, parks make life better.